Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampathi watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel and this is POCO X3 custom ROM reviews in this video I am going to explain about this pixel experience plus it has a recognizer build number you can see pixel experience plus Surya 2022 12 I mean December 18th is the build is the latest build available with Android version 13 you can see here and November 5th is the latest security patch which is a little bit older here we are already mid of i mean almost the end of december now but still we are seeing number security patch but anyhow this is the version here and kernel user is 4.14.302 lineage os kernel has been used here and uh, i have been running the cp throttling test from last six minutes and 35 seconds and 9 milliseconds you can see the maximum scores are 188 and average is 178 and million minimum is 124 million JPS and it's throttled to 87 percent of its max performance initially there was a little bit of throttling maybe the previous apps which are in the background because of that it's showing like that but anyhow it's a good ROM available for POCO X3 slash NFC this is the home settings you get here you can see here this is the home screen now it's a little bit enhanced with this new wallpapers if i go into wallpapers and style change wallpapers you get these feathers wallpapers which are added in this particular update of the rom i mean the pixel experience latest version for poco x3 slash nfc flashing method is very simple guys check out my previous videos on spark os and even evolution x and the latest one which I made those things are same just instead of that file rom zip file use this pixel experience rom zip file and use the same 13.0.1 global firmware that you need to keep in mind and this how the home screen it looks I added widgets battery widget is also added here as you can see it takes time to add here if you use some other devices those percentage are also visible here and ui response time is fine it's quite interesting here and it, this is a quick settings panel and you know android 13 style is a little bit revamped compared to android 12 and 12 just this power button settings button mode downwards that's how it is it's more downwards and now we'll be seeing some of the app settings before that let me show you this dialer here we get google dialer as a pre-installed dialer and you get direct video call feature here and there is even a call recording feature also no it was showing actually but currently let me dial again you can see here in the preview yeah it's now available i don't know what was the bug previously you have seen it live now but previously it was not showing uh, record option but now it is showing i don't know what's the bug that and uh, now moving into some other settings like app settings we get here dolby atmos the motto dolby atmos what we have seen in the previous versions of roms those have been included here too now benchmark is this you can also simultaneously see the app opening time how much it is taking compared to other roms 3,61,553 and temperature rise was 1.8 degrees celsius and battery drop is only two percent during this testing which is good in my opinion the scores are also very good and gig bench scores here again you can check out the app opening time you can see single score performance is 545 and multi score is 1543 and the kernel user is linux 4.14.302 lineage os kernel has been used this thing the scores remaining the same only in MIUI custom roms or MIUI ported roms we get better scores in terms of gigabench i don't know why it is like that that's how it is and some other settings a camera you get here basic camera application if you don't use this you can switch to uh, this advanced gcam ports lot more available i will be always using this anno build gcam i want to show the version everything will be working fine in this particular port there are some other ports also greatness for video it will be better uh, back camera and some other like nikita gcam you need to check out guys which gcam port will be suitable for you that you can manually install it no need to flash through magic if you want nx camera then you need to flash through magic that's how it is available right now and moving into like safety net status yeah this is also very important in order to use it as a daily driver here simply getting failed this is the one big bummer in this particular rom which was previous versions has very good capabilities like safety net set status getting passed here simply that is missing in my opinion and drm information here 
a level 1 certification which you can watch all the OTT application in high definition resolution that's not the problem but in order to use the payment application this need to be get past the safety status I think it's missed in this particular update we shall wait for another ROM build with December security patch or something January security patch we should wait for that if you want to use that and settings here remains the same nothing new here in order to customize few things you need to go into system and gestures system navigation again gesture navigation there is an option here you can see and some other settings like gestures I already shown buttons status bar these are the only customizations available here and in the display it's simply missing here dark mode as you can see it's not in pitch black condition there are no other options also there are no customization to make it pitch black condition those things they need to improve on the spill length as I shown before it was too tiny in my opinion they should give the customization options if it is a pixel experience plus but if it is a pixel experience at least that dark mode could have been implemented in the pure black theme but simply missing here and this how it is let me show you the PUBG mobile gameplay before that you can see the UI is smooth little bit smoother compared to previous versions even better than pixel OS and we'll see how it handle the PUBG mobile gameplay and you can see here in the PUBG mobile you can see smooth plus ultra is set and the volume are fine here I kept to 50% is too loud in my opinion that's not the problem here but high FPS count should have been given but anyhow it is not pixel experience plus I hope so it's just named like that we expect simple enough UI from pixel experience that's fine I don't complain about the high FPS and uh, that uh, pill length adjustments but uh, this safety status getting failed is definitely not worth in my opinion what do you guys say let me know in the comment section guys and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also let the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like the gaming experience is fine according to 40 fps it's fine it's not 60 even not even 90 I'll come back here and I'll show you this charging animation. Will it support 33 watt charging or not? Let's check out. Charging rapidly. Good thing is that at least this is supported here, the fast charging and I'll also show you the fingerprint unlock and face unlock here you can check out the fingerprint unlock which is fast enough to unlock your smartphone and the face unlock it's also fast in my opinion you can record I mean recognize more than two or three faces or even two to three fingerprint options then it will be even faster that's how it is and speed connection I have 100 mps fiber connection here it's pulling up to 90 to 95 even with mobile data connection it's fine it depends upon your local network provider how it handles in the gameplay everything will depends on the network guys and uh, the performance is fine but uh, I simply don't know why the uh, play store certificate the safety net status getting failed here I don't know what was the thing they did not check it I don't know and that's how it is we'll meet you with another interesting video guys if you want to use it as a daily driver I recommend to use the pixel OS latest version which is in my channel you can check out that's fine here and this should be uh, updated with December security patch and the fixing of that safety net status will be better you can manually also do that again we need that file into TWRP or else you need to use the magix model in order to fix the safety measures that's how it is if you are okay with that then you can use this ROM and otherwise there are a lot more available ROMs for Boko XC slash NFC